Greetings, wonderful people, men and women of good conscience and lovers of freedom all over the globe. We welcome you back once again to our News Digest this day, the 13th day of September 2022. Today is Tuesday to be precise, and we must say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone. And of course, this is coming from the desk of Nicky Bobby, where we bring you reliable news, undiluted one, the truth, the way it is. As it is a monetary from Biafra land, from the Zoological Republic, and across Africa and near the world. Today we have some striking as well as breaking and interesting at the same time a news to bring to your table based on what is going on in Biafra land and the environment. But before we go into them, we want to use this opportunity to employ you to hit the subscribe button, share our videos to those who might need it, and give us thumbs up should you like what we are doing here. Earlier today, we have received this information that Asare the pig from the creek is no more. And this is the information we receive. But one thing about it is that uh, from the source of this information proved to be reliable every now and then. But the, you have to know that this information is yet to be verified to have authentic information about 100%. And until then, we will know what we say with time. Record a few days ago, this pig from the creek and his, um, should I say, competitor are uh, from the south south, the place they call the Niger Delta, Tompolo, have had a serious cracker. And from this information, it went on to prove that during the cracker, that pig from the creek was shot on the leg. And it was quite devastating one. And he managed, and his boys managed to take him away. But the information maintained that he gave up. Well, um, we will bring you more information as, as regard to this uh, when we verify the 100% accuracy of it. Of course, these are the things that you have to know as regard to what is happening in the Niger Delta. Earlier, or some days ago, we have brought to you what exactly we feel is what the Zoological Republic government is aiming at. What was that? We analyzed and gave to you. That these are the ways that the Fulanese are trying to infiltrate or invade River State as well as Bayasa. Record that P from the creek has been the one that is guiding the pipeline in the Zoological Republic in the Niger Delta. The pipeline in Biafra land that is delivering oil to the northern parts. Their own resources. He has been the one guiding it for years. But of late, the elder just woke up overnight and decided to give the contract to Tom Polo. And that has caused a lot of quagmire along the line. We say that FG really want to use this opportunity to bring two of them together in a fierce battle. And as well to send their underground men, their foot soldiers, the Boko Haram, the Fulanese, to go into the, uh, the Niger Delta area, the River State, as well as the Bayasa. And that has been happening for some days. Have you heard of the deleting that is going on in, the, in River State? in Bayasa as well. Our prediction actually worked well. So this is the situation of things, wonderful people. And just to bring to you another wave of it as regards to the court case of Mazen and Kano today, some of the politicians from the Zoological Republic has now risen up. They are coming. For example, the governor of um, Ibia State, he has called on the federal government of the zoo to make sure that they sit down with Mazen and the can on a roundtable meeting and discuss what is the issue, what does Mazen and the can want, that this is the only way he thinks that this issue could be settled. He came up with this after he heard about the hearing from the appeal court. Well, I wouldn't go so far to say that this is the first time he's saying it. He, the governor of five states, okay, Zinyi Pazan has said it about one year ago, two years ago. Yes, he has said it. And when he said that, he believe in bringing Mazen and Kano and IPOB on a roundtable meeting so that it will be negotiated. That was uh, before the extraordinary rendition that the zoo did to Mazen and Kano. The Abia State Governor, Kesi Pazan, has asked the federal government to sit and discuss with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Mazen and Kano, and listen to what he is saying about the marginalization of the Ndibo in Nigeria. Ibazu hosted this in an interview in Aba. One, that nobody can win a battle of conscience through the courts. Or the governor further stated that he may not be the fan of IPOB leader, but once some of the issues he raised 
to be looked into. He said the federal government need to sit down and discuss with Namdi Khan and ask what we can do. We can stay at the table to listen to what he is saying. You can't win a battle of conscience through the courts. Do we need Namdi Khan to tell us that there is no Igbo in the hierarchy of service chiefs in Nigeria? Do we need Namdi Khan to tell us that the Igbo is marginalized in Nigeria? Do we need Namdi Khan to tell us that rice that was sold for 10,000 naira now goes for 40,000 naira? You need to listen to the Igbo who are the only true Nigerian, according to Okazib, as he has asserted this. How many times have you seen Babalawo Nigeria Limited in Azikiwe Road? Abba? How many times have you seen Alahaji Kazura Nigeria Limited in Omoahia? But there is no street in the southwest or north that you don't see Igbo business people, according to Okazib, as he concluded. This, we are all his assertions. He is waking up like I said earlier, he has said it once. But just saying something once doesn't add any effect. Doesn't add much impact to it. Recall that we have been stating that this is a philosophy, this is a theory. That consistency breaks the resistance. He has not been consistent, although he said it categorically that he is not a fan of Mazin Namdekan as well as IPO. But this is his own opinion when it comes to the states of things. Uh, because... IP courts has really made the zoo put them in their position today. On following that, Femi Kayode, the former Minister of Aviation, has risen up on a ledge. Peter Obi, uh, the current presidential candidate for Labour Party, of trying to cause a second civil war. Why did uh, Kayode say so? Well, his reasons um, is not really genuine enough. Former Minister of Aviation Femi Kayode has knocked the Labour Party presidential candidate P. Toby, accusing him of planning to cause a second civil war. The former PDP member lies to be over a video where the presidential candidate read a WhatsApp message allegedly from a member of the neighbor support group. Well, this is the situation. Let me dissect the message for you. Oh, before now, some Eurobars has called on their own people on the Eurobars not to vote for P. Toby. They said if Yoruban vote for P2B and if P2B becomes the president of Nigeria, that P2B will generally transfer the economy to eastern parts. That the seaports in Lagos will now be transferred uh, to River State as well as Delta. That Igbos in the Lagos will now migrate back to eastern region, which means that the economy of Lagos will fall. He, they acknowledge that it is the Igbos that are holding the economy of Lagos. So Peter Obi now saw that um, right up and that tweet. They decided to deliberate on it. As well as they were deliberating on it. Now this irate Femi Fani Kadiode now started accusing him that deliberating on this issue means that he is trying to cause a second um, war in the Zoological Republic. This is the premise by which he started this. The question is, is the point of Fane Kayode really valid enough to make such statements? Peter Obi was just deliberating with his friends as regards the post to the post that the people made from Yoruba as well as those from Tinibu group that Yorubans should vote for Peter Obi. And now Peter Obi is they are dissecting the they are reasoning over it. This man came up and said, by reason over that post means that he is calling for war. How and where does it happen? Uh, these are the people that you call your leaders. His, this man has no pedigree. He has no anything that makes him a leader. I mean, this guy you And of course, earlier today, you have seen what's happened as regard to the court case of a great leader, Mazen Namdi Khan. The APA courts has really done a lot of work today by making the zoo, those, the prosecutors who are prosecuting Mazen Namdi Khan, record that Mazen Namdi Khan is the face of Biafra. So if you call it Biafra, we are not mistaken. So the APA court today asked the prosecutors, how did you get Mazen Namdi Khan back to the Zoological Republic? They couldn't answer. And they came up to the conclusion that Nigeria did an extraordinary rendition and kidnapping of Mazen Namdi Khan, and that's in court of law is called terrorism. The AP court said they have committed that against Mazen Namdi Khan. And they asked him again, the prosecutor, 
um, how many times have you amended the charges? He says seven times. They ask him, then what did you come to do here? For how many years you have practiced here? Law, you do not know that you do not need to amend charges like that. Amending charges like that means you do not have evidence. You have, not, you have no concrete fact to prove that the charges you are giving is truly really authentic. So today, we have seen this. And Barrister Fanny Joffo, as well as um, Barrister Michael Zekeme, they have outlined this. We saw it at the beginning. And uh, when we talk about the response of beer France today, in Imo State, it was 99.9% .9 accuracy. You know, people, beer France kept sat at home. They didn't want to go anywhere. And of course, the mass prayer, you see what happened. Every new cranny of Imo State, well, you don't even hear the sound of bed. bed. You don't hear the whistle of bed. And this shows that beer France really puts him where he belongs. A mask here who has nothing. But come to think of it, what is he actually coming in Imo State to do? They say he came to commission a road of um, half kilometer. A road of half kilometer. But look at it in Iguacha, in River State. Uh, Mrs. Tambua has been constructing uh, bridges, flyover, road, gigantic buildings, and the commissioning. Um, the mask here has never come to River State to commission it. It's just this half kilometer road that the uh, Imo State Administrator, Supreme Court Governor, built that he is flying every now and then. That is to show you that uh, what we anticipated was somehow real. You know, prior to Mazin and the Colonel's case, court case, things like has been happening two days, three days before then. And this last one that happened was the issue of Ifanyoba. I earlier I reasoned, is it possible? that Ifanyo Bao was really intentionally attacked. That's my reasoning. We I came up and said, I don't think so, that this could be a state something. Maybe Ifanyo Bao wants to use this opportunity to eliminate those his head. Maybe he has used them for sacrifice. But well, upon further examination, I still think about it because Ifanyo Bao was the only person that was moving with um, bulletproof car. So all his heads, they were not moving with bulletproof car. And having considered things that transpired through the rendition of our great leader Mazen Namdekan and some of the comments that Ifanyo Bao had made, recall that um, earlier, after the rendition of Mazen Namdekan, we received information that it was the jets of Ifanyo Bao they used to be Mazen Namdekan from Kenya to the zoo. But after some days, he came and said, no, he don't have anything to do with it. It's not his jets. And within that interval, he came up and said that a Perima, who is now the commander, who is now the leader of IPOB, that Mazen Namdi can even, doesn't even see the back of a Perima, that a Perima is as strong as 10 times of Mazen Namdi Khan. I told somebody that, look, you see these comments? It has gravity. That these are the people that are sponsoring a Perima through the federal government. So, one word or the other, I am seeing it that if I find you, but it's involved, one word or the other, and maybe, uh, maybe, just maybe, the Zoological Republic want to use this to treat him because he couldn't deliver. You know what they do? Uh, when Ojozo Kano failed to deliver during his own time, he chopped uh, some jail terms. And this time, if I knew, because he couldn't deliver in Handama as the Kano, uh, possibly. That's why the zoo came because. I have taken my time to analyze the thing that happened. These are the activities of the DSS. That is how they invert people. This thing that happened is fine, but it is the DSS. Go heaven, come at you, find out that what we are telling you is the truth. Wonderful people, we thank you for listening. This is Nick Bobby, where we bring you the reliable news, the way it is sorting down to the bomb marrow. You will always confirm it. And we are coming up. We want you to stay tuned as we bring you more news as regards to what is going on. We are Biafrans. And in Biafra land is where we have our citizenship, whether you like it or not. For those who believe, and until Biafra is fully restored, we will not rest. May you remain safe and blessed wherever you may be.